Hi friends, tutorial time. I will show you how to make this one. You can slide over sheet with any information. I have button and photo here. Photo is from my Instagram. Subscribe button. That really doesn't work, but there is another one below, so that will work for you. Basically, you can trigger somehow this screen and in my case it is button and this will slide out and you can move it around using your finger or nose. <laughs> I will link below all the tutorials which I use it to create this demo application. You can go and read those if you are a reader, but why you are here. Yeah, probably you like video tutorials. So I recorded one for you and let's jump into the coding and I will show you how to make slide over like this one. Okay, let's jump to the coding. Let's try to make it fast as possible. We are using UI presentation view controller that is documentation is right here in Apple. Better than before, plenty of information, but uh, this one tutorial from Ray Rendelik is really nice and if you are not worried about touch recognizing on those sliders, you can jump straight into this tutorial and read that. But here is no touch recognition in this tutorial. That is part what I was missing. Let's create new app. Slide over tutorial. Next, save on somewhere on desktop. Yeah, that's fine. I will create Git repository and will push project to the GitHub later, so you will be able to see it. Nice. We are using storyboards, so UIKit storyboards that will work for you. This is view controller, mine file in the project, which handle this one file, and I will add button here to trigger or slide over. So do the trick, I guess that will be great name for the button, let's keep it in the center of the screen, hope so far it is easy peasy to follow, and let's start to add files. So we will need, we will need now our presentation controller, this one thing, and we will make it little bit custom for our project needs. I will name this file presentation controller. If you have a big project with multiple files, maybe you would like to use something more specific. I will go with that. And let's make some magic of the internet here. Uh, let's name it not copy, but coffee paste. Ta da! Nice. So, <laughs> let's discuss a little bit what we have here just to do not make it some kind of copy-paste magic. So, we have Tab Gestor Recognizer here, we have visual effect for blur on the screen and what we are doing here. This uh, method initialization and here we handle transaction between two view controllers. Oh damn, it's so dark here, let's add some light. Much better. Okay, this part is we are making configuration for the frame. So basically you can add how high this frame will be. You can play with numbers, change, add whatever you like here. And here is size width for this frame. So basically it will be in the same width like frame. Uh, what we have, what is frame? Frame is this screen will be our frame and we will add in the same with of this screen that container view what we are planning to present yeah and height is um, 0 0.6 you can change whatever you like to see here how how big or small this slide over screen you would like to see and those two guys this one in presentation will begin and dismiss presentation basically that adds a blur view to our container view. You will see how that looks later. Yeah, here we adding some customization. We are rounding corners for that slide over screen. I don't like to have just sharp line. I like some nice forms. 
and uh, to make those corners round we have extension right here for UI view and you can just say which corners you would like to round all of them top left top right whatever probably already using some your own uh, extension for round corners you can use that or copy paste this one and use in other projects as well whatever you like so layout is displayed on container view and this is just to hide it so uh, we are triggering uh, this function to hide our view. You can trigger it from your own uh, button, something like that. We are doing that on our tap guest recognizer. When we will tap on the screen, we will dismiss this container view. That is our presentation. We are, hand we are ready to handle our view, but we have to have our view first. We can create this view in many different ways. In this tutorial, the all views are in storyboard. You can create that view programmatically as well, just in separate file. I will go in the middle between those. I will create new file, but I will create hib or zip file for this. And I will name it overlay. Overlay view, let's name it so. So how it looks, it is just like storyboard, but better. <laughs> and we can use whatever form we like. Uh, anyway, our presenter will shape the view in correct size and uh, form, but just to make it a little bit easier for ourselves to work with it, let, let's change the size. Uh, a little bit smaller in about the same size as we will present it just to visualize better. I'm kind of visual person. I like to have visualization for everything. Okay, I will need I will need button here, but I will not use button. I will create it from from view that will be okay, red button. I will go with this red. I will change size to let's say 40 to 240 that's fine and stick it here and I will center it in the view bumps nice so that will be just above this uh, home slider and I will like to add label here something what would we like to see on this label? Some text, let's make it white. Let's center it here in the container. Yeah, right. Let's use something bigger, title. So, of course, that will be subscribe button. You see my point? <laughs> okay. So basically you can add whatever you need on this screen. I'm just playing around. So I will add this slider view indicator on the top. So this will be gray. And from top it will be 16. It will be, let's say 60, 62, I don't know. Let's try six. Yeah, about correct. And in the center. Yeah, it looks good. Just too dark. Light gray will be it. Yes, looks about right. Maybe even four, not six. Yes. And I will round corners for this view and for this button. And then that will look already nice. And of course, we need something in the middle. Most likely you will have some buttons, but I have nothing better, but add, yeah, let's add image view. Let's go with this one. Horribly big image, but let's go with it. Yes, nice. <laughs> We will need file which will handle this slider view as well. I'm hitting now Ctrl N, new file. I'm adding new Swift file. I will name it 
overlay view as well and let's create this file. Let's do some copy paste magic for this. This one is um, most important in this tutorial in my opinion. So we are adding gesture when user is sliding view. We will trigger that function and in that function magic happens and basically you have your chance to use your math skills haha <laughs> for those all who said that math is not needed for programming this part wasn't clear for me i didn't uh, imagine how to do that on my own and i found tutorial for that so basically what we are doing here we are not allowing to the user to drag this view top we are allowing to draw only to the bottom and here magic happens UI view animation, how fast to move this, where to move this and so on. And we are setting initial uh, point where this view should be located. Yeah, that is to handle gestures. That was, let's say, black box magic for me. And now it's more clear for me, but uh, back to our hib. We should connect this overlay, overlay view file with overlay hib. Currently they have no idea that they exist so we should file owner for this view will be let's start typing here it is all overlay now we can hit control command alt enter and see that we have automatically displayed his file this file here and what we are doing here follow otherwise up will crash so we are connecting this a file owner view with this view without this connection app will crash that's kind of important <laughs> please do not forget to do that okay we are halfway done let's try to speed up what else is missing here so we have presentation controller controller will handle displaying for this file here we have our just a recognition for sliding this view and what is missing we have nothing here in this view controller file so our main storyboard this one screen have the button but uh, nothing will happen if you will click on this button because because nothing is here let's make our last copy paste magic all the files all the project will be linked below let's connect button with uh, this action and what happens here we have function shows a miracle this function is triggered by tap on this button and what happens here we are pointing to our overlay view model presentation style for this uh, view will be custom and we are basically presenting it. and in this extension we have declaration for this uh, presentation controller and we are basically declaring what we will present on this screen and so on so this should be here otherwise our functionality will not work let's try to run it and to see if that will works here it is we uh, lost our slider indicator but yeah it is here and it is displayed so basically our screen is a little bit too big and uh, image is covering that uh, slider indicator that is our problem we can fix that but basically that works and let's make it a little bit nicer that's fixed here corners are nice this slider is nice and round you can play around with degrees you can click here to hide it you can drag it around basically whatever will work so that is about it for this tutorial subscribe button that will not work on tutorial but <laughs> below the video is one which will work if you will hit that subscribe button that will be nice like buttons will work as well yeah let me know if you would like to see more tutorials i put together a few tutorials to get what i needed so basically that's how <laughs> how programming work uh, it, happens sometimes not always you just read straight from documentation and uh, yeah i just afraid that i will forgot how to do that in a month or two if i will need to repeat that this tutorial will help me and i hope that this tutorial is helpful for you as well so thank you for watching see you on next one bye